Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures uh, involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So, uh, in fact, I need to, um, I need to just up update this. Uh, trading equities, futures, I should just say probably just trading. Um, and crypto, because I want to show you guys some cryptocurrencies. Okay, let's try that. Okay, trading equities, futures, and cryptocurrencies involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. <clears throat> now, the, there's a free trial with Bookmap. You can go to bookmap.com. Uh, it comes with education. You get the educational course. Uh, we put this together. It's a four-part series. Uh, and then uh, we follow up uh, every day uh, with the advanced order flow webinars uh, that cover in the live market the content that's in that educational course. So you learn in the course and it's backed up in the live market. Uh, and there's other resources as well. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at bookmap, support at bookmap.com. <clears throat> Let me jump over to the website really quickly. Uh, just uh, scroll down a bit. Uh, there's an intro video here. Uh, these, this is for any of you who are new here. Uh, understand some of the, um, uh, what bookmap is about here. Uh, this is going to be the link here for um, the uh, future webinars, uh, and um, uh, you know you can you you'd sign up here uh, for uh, tomorrow's webinar, for example. You sign up once for the week. Uh, anyway, uh, continue to scroll down. Uh, connectivity we offer uh, uh, con connectivity to uh, Nasdaq Total View uh, through uh, DX Feed or Dev Experts. This will allow you to access all U.S. equities. It's a great data feed. Uh, I can you can read about it here. Uh, why uh, and um, a little bit further down, uh, how to connect to the live markets. Okay, so uh, Bookmap is a uh, software uh, financial trading platform. Uh, we are not a data provider. Okay, you can see that there are some other platforms up here listed as well. Uh, we connect via the API of NinjaTrader, Interactive Brokers, Traders Workstation, and TTX Trader Pro as well. Okay. However, we are a platform just like they are. Uh, you can connect directly using uh, Q CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, and Transact. Okay. Also, Dev Experts. Uh, and uh, the new offering here with the cryptocurrencies. Right. So. Um, I'm not going to explain how to do that, but uh, uh, yet because that's going to be with version seven, uh, and uh, uh, it's a fa fantastic uh, um, a data feed. And I'll show you the differences between uh, that and what the CME is offering. All right, so um, you get a 14-day uh, trial period with Bookmap, uh, basic or advanced. Okay, basic is 49 per month, advanced is 99 per month, um, and the difference between the two. Okay, the add-on features here. So uh, being able to trade from the chart, uh, large lot tracker and iceberg detector identify uh, larger players. Uh, we have volume imbalance, a book, in, book uh, order, uh, order book imbalance, and then a correlation tracker. These are all proprietary indicators we have developed for Bookmap, uh, looking specifically at order flow phenomena, uh, different than other indicators like RSI or stochastics, et cetera. Okay, quants, uh, you'll have your specific needs. Reach out to us here. Uh, if you need a free data feed trial, you can click here. Uh, there are some offerings, uh, and you get 14 days of that. So you can do that as well as 14-day trial of Bookmap. Uh, so you don't even have to have a, uh, a futures uh, account uh, if, uh, uh, if you don't have one right now. Uh, there's a complete list here of all the different versions of Bookmap. Uh, so uh, that's the website. Uh, here is uh, our Twitter feed uh, at bookmap underscore pro. You can follow us here to get the most up-to-date information. You can see a lot of the uh, new uh, crypto and uh, uh, version 7 with a colored heat map, etc. over here. 
Uh, so uh, uh, some really great stuff here. Really able to see some some excellent things. Uh, and um, uh, you can also uh, follow us or subscribe to our YouTube page. Okay, just briefly. Uh, there's some intro videos here in this playlist. You can click on the playlist uh, heading. Uh, features and components going through um, what bookmap is, uh, all the different features. Uh, order flow video snippets. This is going through order flow phenomena. Uh, and bookmap is um, uh, very objective and transparent uh, in displaying uh, that phenomena. And that, uh, that's the advantage you're going to get. And we explain that phenomena here in these concise videos. Uh, this kind of um, analysis, we go into a lot of depth in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so you can get an idea of, of that here uh, and then uh, uh, come to the advanced uh, order flow webinars. Uh, you will need to be in trial for that, um, but um, uh, once you are, uh, you'll get uh, uh, access to those. They go for about an hour, all right? So <clears throat> let's jump into Bookmap. And, uh, and see what's going on. Uh, we'll look at the NASDAQ. We've been following that. But um, before I even get into that, let's jump into and look at some of these cryptocurrencies. Okay. So this is the new version. Uh, this is my second day on it here. Uh, and uh, it is um, uh, not, uh, uh, um, uh, you, you don't have access to it yet. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm just giving you kind of a, uh, uh, a bit of an insight to it. And uh, we'll go over some of the features here uh, as well and a answer any questions that you guys have. All right, so there are many too. Uh, it is it's fantastic. I mean, you can see the uh, distinction already here in the heat map. Okay, instead of using that grayscale, we're now using color. Uh, and uh, it's uh, up here, you can see uh, that you can, there's three different settings here. Uh, we can look at uh, very dark red as being very high liquidity. Okay, it starts off from this end and works its way to this end. So high liquidity is up in the, the uh, red orange area, and uh, dark blue uh, is uh, uh, very little liquidity. All right, and this one's a little bit different; just goes up to orange instead. I like both of them quite a bit. Uh, so um, um, don't know. Uh, it's really up to you guys. Uh, all right, so here's the NASDAQ, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll come back and take a look here at the NASDAQ. We're, you know, we're seeing some pretty nice stuff to the upside, uh, but uh, let's jump into the cryptocurrency. So let's cover that briefly here. Uh, it's fantastic to see this, all right? So, and this is what Bookmap is so great at, uh, visualizing uh, all this market activity. Look at these areas of high liquidity. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, you can see it trade right down into it. Now, um, I also want to cover here uh, the liquidity. Uh, looking at this area here, I and mean, this is pretty liquid market. Uh, I mean, it's not bad uh, <laughs> compared to the um, uh, new products from the CBOE uh, and the CME. All right, so let me show you what the cryptocurrencies look like in the CME. Uh, did I, do I even have, yeah, I have it here. Okay, this is it. All right, look at the liquidity here. It's one contract. I mean, this is really dead. Uh, and uh, we, look at how far apart they're spaced. You can see the spread is uh, $120. Uh, and um, uh, you can see that uh, there's this is this is it one contract one contract and another one down here at 1660 uh, okay high high liquidity in this in this view is two contracts right, let's jump back and take a look at the GDAX offering okay this is traded through the GDAX exchange and um, uh, or data feed and this is uh, and this is what you're getting now there is there is a lot more liquidity here um, in fact, um, I mean, it is volatile. There's no question. Uh, but um, uh, the um, uh, there's just tons of just a lot more liquidity compared to the uh, the other markets, right? And you can see the spread here is one tick wide. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and overall view here, what's going on in the cryptocurrencies? Let's just take a quick look. Okay, it looks like some absorption on the way down. 
All right, so I, I would start to uh, to look for uh, a shift here uh, in this uh, in this order flow. Okay, some really nice absorption on the way down. It appears to be. Okay, so uh, let's start to look for uh, more buyers to start stepping in at these higher areas or lower highs, I should say. Uh, and then we'll make a, a higher low, maybe down in this area here. Uh, and then I'm looking forward to uh, start to, we need to see it unfold, uh, but uh, looking for uh, the um, a potential here for the, the move back up. A reversal is what I'm talking about. Okay, it hasn't played out yet, but um, we're starting to see the um, uh, clues or the evidence of it starting to uh, uh, materialize and we need to see follow through all right we can jump back and take a look at it we'll, we'll do that later um, but uh, let's jump back to that nasdaq okay and uh, and take a look here and uh, let's uh, kind of uh, scale this heat map a bit okay all right first off uh for those of you in the uh, webinar yesterday, oh, this was in, more in the advanced order flow webinar, okay? Before we left uh, yesterday, uh, we were looking at, um, I just want to cover this. Um, okay, so here is yesterday's action. We were looking at this area down here. Uh, around um, uh, 6480, well, that was our level. We saw a massive amount of liquidity up here at 6485. Uh, we ended the webinar before touching that area, but uh, I reached out to everyone and said, look, you know, this has been a strong move. Uh, I'm looking for uh, that liquidity to pull uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the offer, very, very high liquidity, and maybe flip to the other side. Uh, and we did see a really nice, nice move uh, to the upside. Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, that that happened after the webinar. Uh, but starting to understand uh, order flow, and then starting to to um, uh, integrate that into the bigger picture is very, very powerful stuff. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, what I was talking about yesterday was a flip of the book, basically. Okay, on a higher time frame. So uh, here I, I can put this into the uh, into the chat uh, for you guys. Okay, so you'll have uh, you can take a look at that, uh, and um, uh, yeah. So uh, you know we're we're uh, starting to anticipate that kind of activity, uh, and we did see the follow through. Okay, uh, after the webinar though. So, okay, so what's going on now uh, in the NASDAQ? Well, it looks like some volatility here back and forth. Uh, you know, obviously we have some uh, uh, geopolitical news, uh, tax reform. Uh, we have, uh, we're accepting and we have accepted above this 6480 level uh, that uh, we were looking at uh, all, all week long or several days uh, back here. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just get into um, uh, what's going on uh, currently with uh, the order flow, but I need to take a step back uh, and uh, uh, cover uh, for those of you who are um, uh, new to bookmap and, and, and trying to understand what all this, all this is on the chart. Okay. And um, uh, so we'll, we'll go through the review here. This looks like there is a lot going on and it looks very complex. It, <laughs> it's really not. Uh, there are only three elements on this chart. Uh, one is the historical best bid and offer. Okay. Uh, the other is the volume that these dots that you see. Okay. Those that's the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. And then the last element here is the heat map. And this heat map here, colored heat map that you see, all it is is the dome. Okay. The depth of market. Um, it's, uh, it's given a graphical representation, and then it's just projected onto the chart. That's it. So you can see where there was interest in selling up here and here and here, okay, and where there's interest in buying, okay. So some of these little pockets down here, and they started to uh, 
uh, show some buying here, but it looks like they pulled a lot of that. Okay, and also buying here, and it looks like they probably pulled as well. Anyway, uh, understanding that auction is um, offers an advantage and a lot of insight. Okay, and uh, that's what we go through uh, in some of the details in that um, uh, advanced order flow webinar. I'll go through some here as well. Uh, we just uh, need to keep it basic though, all right? And uh, ask any questions that you guys have. Uh, that's what uh, uh, the platform details webinar is, is, is about. Okay, so um, the uh, uh, those are the three elements on the chart. Uh, and um, let's, uh, let's break it down. Uh, and we're going to start with something very simple, and then I'll define these. Okay, so let's look at a five minute candlestick chart here. All right, so open high, low and close of a five minute period. Uh, that's that's all we're looking at here. And uh, uh, it's four data points for each five minute bar. Okay, there is a lack of transparency here. Uh, we have no understanding of uh, all sorts of microstructure, that important microstructure uh, that makes up the uh, composition uh, of the order flow and price movement here, okay? It's all disguised in the uh, aggregate view of a five minute period, and that's a problem. Uh, and uh, we solve that issue very easily here, okay? Uh, it's not rocket science at all, uh, just historical best bid and offer solves that issue. Okay, now we can start to see the microstructure. All right, all sorts of insights here. Uh, because uh, we can start to see uh, just uh, little areas, uh, like for example, down here. Okay, so um, we see, you know, quick move down. Okay, all sorts of little structural areas, and in these areas, we want to see who's winning the battle, and we want to see follow through. Okay, first is to identify the structure. So look at this little sideways uh, consolidation here, and a, and a quick break of it. With, there's going to be a lot of aggressive buying right here. Okay, we're going to see that uh, when I turn on the volume, uh, and then we kind of go sideways for a bit, and uh, we we break this little consolidation area, and and then again here, look how it consolidated down to these lows here, and then broke quickly again. Okay, uh, and um, uh, understanding these little areas here, and understanding how we break out of them, and starting to anticipate that activity. Uh, is uh, is what we do in the uh, advanced order flow webinar, and it's what we cover in the uh, bookmap educational course. Okay, this is a sweep of the book. These quick moves like this, all the liquidity is taken uh, on the offer at several levels, and price moves very very quickly uh, to higher levels, and we're now trading in a new level. Okay, there is a new valuation of the product or instrument at that time okay and then there was another evaluation here and it accepted lower accepted once and twice lower in a consolidated area okay and then the buyers came in and disrupted that okay and we accepted up above and look at the little retest right here into that area okay this is just the microstructure and the details that you can start to read and put together uh, that is completely um, uh, uh, not displayed here uh, in that in that candlestick chart, All right? So uh, that's uh, a, a really important element here is to understand the break breakdown of the candlestick and the action price action within that candlestick. Okay. Now let's turn on the volume though because we don't know. Uh, again, like uh, we have a volume subchart, but we we're, we're lacking a lot of transparency here. Um, and we don't know where the traders are transacting, uh, what they think it's worth, uh, and uh, how much trades, where it traded, uh, exactly when, and um, uh, the uh, the aggressor, who who who's trading, what side is trading, aggressive buying or selling, and who's winning that battle. Okay, so um, yeah, so we can see it. Uh, we can see it here. Uh, with the volume dots uh, and um, 
the uh, I'll just quickly zoom in here, and I want to show you really what these two elements are. We'll get to the third element, which is the heat map. Okay, first element uh, is that historical best bid and offer. Best offer is the red line. Best bid is the green. Okay, now you can see the dots here as well. These are transactions. This is the uh, a market sell order. This red dot. Okay, it, we we can we consider this uh, the aggressor classification of volume uh, because they they paid up. They they actually uh, paid the spread here, uh, as you can see. Uh, and uh, they didn't provide liquidity. They they took liquidity. Okay? They didn't wait. They didn't want to wait. They were aggressive. Uh, and uh, when they hit that market sell button, the the dot here uh, is painted onto the uh, the best bid. Okay, the green dot is the opposite. That is a, a market buy. Okay. So uh, as I zoom back out, you can see that uh, we have all sorts of transactions, and in some cases, there's so many that take place that we give you the overall shape of it uh, in a pie display. Okay, and I can just kind of quickly uh, show you that here. Um, so you can see this kind of these these pie displays here. Okay, uh, and um, uh, what occurred in here was a, a massive amount of trading, both buying and selling. Okay, but let's zoom in here. Uh, and we can see as I zoom in, note how we're not aggregating any of that data. Okay, it's all here. Uh, and in fact, we're going to break it down. We're going to continue to zoom into this dot and we're going to see exactly what traded here. Okay, we're down at microsecond level here. Okay, we can continue to zoom in, right? And we know here that uh, this was um, a, a 10 lot uh, that traded here, okay? So it's one uh, one trade event for lot of, uh, of 10. We can see everything on the bid and offer here as well. Uh, you know, so if I hover over this area with our data tip tool, I get the date, the time, what was on the ask here, there was 30 at this price level of uh, 87 and three quarters in the volume, okay? So uh, that's exactly what, what occurred here, okay? Now, as I zoom back out though, note how we consolidate that graphically and then visually give you the overall understanding of what's going on here, okay? Now, if I, I continue to zoom out, because this happened really quickly, I continue to zoom out and finally what we'll do is give you the overall delta of that volume and you can see that about three quarters of that volume here, and we hover over this dot, and it gives us the volume here. It was 39 contracts, okay? For, um, and, and three quarters of that uh, was uh, aggressive buying. Okay, so that's the volume. Uh, one last uh, element to place onto the chart here, okay? And that is the um, evolution of the, uh, uh, limit order book here, okay? So uh, basically this is uh, one of the um, main advantages of book map. Now, I mean, there's footprint charts that show you volume like this. Uh, the difference is though that the, they'll, they'll aggregate their data as well uh, within a, a bar or some sort of bar rotation, et cetera. And uh, it just, it doesn't give you that microstructure and understanding of some of the details here. And understanding those details are, is critical uh, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, under, understanding how, how the market traded up through and related to that, that structure, look for a pullback to some of these areas, et cetera. Uh, there's all sorts of ways that we go through uh, how to read this and then how to um, strategize uh, around it uh, and optimize your, your entries. Okay. So the... Um, uh, that's the volume. Uh, the now the the auction part. Okay, that that's what's missing here right now in the chart. And um, uh, we we usually just look at the uh, depth of market in a dome. Okay, and uh, here's our dome and book map. Okay, it's the current order book column. You can see the depth here on the offer, depth here on the bid, and then here's your best bid and offer right here. Okay, now these numbers are always changing. It's, it's traders coming in and out of the market. They're providing and pulling liquidity. All right, so there, there are sellers up here at these specific areas. There's buyers down here. This is the market. This is the current auction. Okay, we have the current order book here graphically as well. 
okay? So uh, what do I mean by that? All right, so what we do is we take these numeric values uh, and we paint them uh, in a heat map in this window here. Okay, so here's our best bid and offer. Uh, and then uh, this is last traded volume. And then note the areas of high liquidity up here at 6,500, okay, 172 contracts, right? So uh, we can see uh, uh, areas of high liquidity very easily and start to gain an understanding of this whole order book here just graphically, okay? Uh, it, it's just a lot easier to read and understand when they're starting to add and pull liquidity, okay? And you'll see the, the heat map change when these numbers change. Now. Where this really is helpful uh, is looking at, we're able to look at it historically, okay? So added and pulled liquidity here in the dome, okay, is recorded. So you can see over in these areas here, look at how they, they uh, it was dark here, and then they added liquidity, okay? and when it got darker again, they started pulling, and then they, they added quite a bit here when it started to get uh, yellow, okay? And then they pulled, and then they added back in, all right? So... That's how uh, traders up at these levels here were, um, were auctioning. And we're able to understand now a, a lot of things uh, from reading uh, this, this activity. We're able to understand if they, you know, start to, uh, do they mean to trade or not? Or uh, are they just kind of, uh, uh, you know, somewhat mildly interested or uh, looking for, um, Keeping their their position in line. Uh, recall, it's a first in, first out market. So, if these traders want to trade up these areas, they're going to stay in the book, and we can start to make that distinction between that fake liquidity like this up here uh, and real liquidity that stays in the book like this liquidity over here. Okay, very high liquidity, and they wanted to buy. They stayed here. All right. So uh, we're able to read that and make that uh, a distinction. All right, we're able to zoom out. And now, not only can we use this limit order book uh, for the current market, we can use it for a historical market. Okay, we can understand where they were auctioning previously uh, and how they might behave uh, when price comes back up into those areas. Okay, and that's what we were looking at yesterday in the... Uh, 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 live order flow uh, advanced webinar. Okay, we were looking at uh, this um, 6485 level, uh, and in fact, it's still it's still important. Uh, we bounced off of it here. Here's 85 down here. Okay, and it's it's because of the liquidity that was there yesterday. So not only am I using that liquidity uh, for today, I'm actually using it from yesterday uh, in understanding uh, uh, that. Um, uh, this order flow phenomena and how important that uh, liquidity uh, or insightful it is uh, for um, for your trading. All right, guys, let's let's wrap it up. Um, and um, for those of you in the advanced order flow webinar, we'll continue on over there and uh, uh, look at some pretty interesting stuff. Okay. All right. Take care.